in this question two multiplexers are given to you this circuit is given to you this combinational circuit this logic circuit is given to you the question is asking what is this function f you can see which of the following function is realized by this circuit okay what is the function that is implemented by this circuit so let's see first you tell me for the first multiplexer what is the output what is this output you tell me here means for the first multiplexer what is the output of the first multiplexer see you can see in this first multiplexer you can see on the select line on the select line if you put zero then you what your output will be on the select line if you put zero what your output will be tell me on the select line select line is s1 if you put zero then your output will be i zero that is same as w on the select line if you put one then your output will be i one that is w bar okay so if you see this equation you will get that when you have s1 zero then output is w when s1 is one then output is w bar that is your xor s1 xor w okay yes or no s1 xor w so you got this output here you got s1 xor w this is what you got now you tell me what will be f okay let's see let's call it something like p let's call it p okay let's call it p for a moment let's call it p so what will be f what will be f you can see when s2 is zero when s2 is zero means s2 bar then what will be f tell me when s2 is zero when s2 is zero means s2 bar then f will be then f will be tell me then f will be p yes or no f will be p because here you have p i can say here you have p okay here you have p so you can easily see when s2 is zero then f1 will be uh, then, then this f will be i zero means f will be p and when s2 is one when s2 is one then f will be p bar then f will be p bar so what do you got you got s2 xor p s2 xor p yes or no so remember finally i can say your f is equal to so remember your finally your f this function f this this is equal to s2 xor p and what is p p is already s1 xor w okay so finally your answer that is s2 xor s1 xor w so your answer will be option d yes or no answer will be option d because remember xor is commutative and associative okay xor is commutative and associative we already know this xor this xor is commutative and associative this is commutative also and this is associative also okay this is commutative and associative so if you have this type of equation like a xor b xor c if you have this type of equation you can simply write it a xor b xor c you can also write it b xor a xor c you can also write it c xor b xor a okay you can write it in any way you want you can also write it c xor a xor b because xor is commutative and associative so finally here answer will be option d okay very simple question